venom. Oh, venom. Oh, venom. Oh, venom. You're talking about the snake movie, right? Yeah. Backlash 2009? The DVD that we own? Have you watched that match? Yes, I've seen that match. It's really good. Hey guys, Lex Style here. And I'm Pat Tracy. From Crack Blues. The two of us. This is the four uh, digital code giveaway video for the collection update 78. Yeah, you, you know the word when you're like really happy you feel euphoric? Yes. Well, I bet that these giveaways make our viewers feel blue phoric. Name of the video right there. I said that joke to Zen earlier, and I went, I'm going to take that for a video. I uh, I said a knock-knock joke to Mark, and I would say it now. Give this video a thumbs up. I would say it now, but I don't think anyone would understand it, and also you wouldn't understand it. So I'm not going to say that. Moving on. To you. If you like uh, these videos and want to support us at all, go chuck us a buck over at patreon.com slash punkrockblues. It'll right really here. help us out. It's yeah, right it's here. over. Up here. It's over here. How good are your editing skills? It's just right there. Can I do one of these and you follow it? No. Okay. In other news, this was the first giveaway that we set our new rule in place that we're going to ask a question. Yeah. And then if you answer the question, you get entered. And if you don't answer the question, it was such a great turnout. And what a great question to start this off. Yeah, it was really I fun. I came up with the question really was pick two actors that have... Okay. The rule is a little people got bendy because there's two actors that have never worked together. And in their prime, cast two good guys, two bad guys. So four to actors told that have never worked together and make your ultimate movie. My answer was... I don't remember mine, so my, we'll just move on. My good my good guys were Bruce Willis and Michael Keaton in their prime. And I don't remember my bad guys. I don't know if I ever picked. But we are going to read all of them. That's the way that we're going to read the names for everyone that entered. First up is 24 Anthony Moe who had Michael B. Jordan and Jared Leto as good guys on the left, I assume? Yeah. As the good guys, and Robert Patrick versus Danny Trejo as the bad guys. I really like that combo. Mostly Robert, the villains. Robert I don't like Jared Leto. Robert Patrick. It's from Terminator 2. Okay, so I don't know who he is. Alan Channing, he picked Tom Cruise and Elizabeth, um, Olsen. Elizabeth Olsen versus Charlize Theron and Guy Pierce. Yeah. Uh... That one was average. I'd see it. I don't know. I'd see it if it wasn't Tom Cruise, I feel like. Cause no, I just, like Tom Cruise. I know, but he's... <laughs> uh, Andrew G.G. said Will Arnett and Gary Oldman versus uh, Aaron Eckert and Chris Hemsworth. Arnett and Oldman. That was a really interesting yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how well Eckert and Hemsworth would go together. I think e Eckert is a very strong actor, but I don't know how Hemsworth would mesh with him. Next, we had Andrew Kurz Lake. Uh, he chose, he's the first person actually to choose two Spider-Men because he had yeah. Tom Holland and Andrew which Garfield said versus um, Kevin Hart and Ian McKellen, which yeah. would be pretty interesting. I just, as long as Kevin Hart dies, <laughs> if we can set that rule. Some people did drop plots, and if we remember your plot, we will say it. Uh, I don't think he dropped a plot, but yeah, as long as Kevin Hart dies, that'd be great. Next up, this was one of my favorites, Anika T. It's a political thriller movie. He has Ryan Gosling and George Clooney versus Brian Cox and John Malkovich. I love that combo. I think Mal Cox cool. and Malkovich is what sells that movie. I would love to see the trailer. I want it by uh, Adam McKay because I want it to have a big short feel. Okay. So that's it's Martin Scorsese. No, I want a big short feel. Okay. When I read that one, I went, I, I just I pictured the trailer to Big Short with their faces on it. So I was like, Adam McKay. Avenue Tripathi said Tom Hanks, Will Smith versus uh, Christian Bale and Matt Damon. That's just. It's you know. weird to see Damon as a bad guy, I feel like. Yeah. Has it ever happened? What was Elysium about? I don't know. Uh, ben Lord said Liam Neeson and Chris Evans versus <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson and Hugh Jackman. I laughed because you just had L. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty a uh, basic one. Yeah. I would probably actually switch Neeson and Jackman. I would love to see Hugh and Chris together, and then uh, yeah. Star Wars buddies, Jackson and Neeson, would they get to uh, hang out? Yeah. Burnsy said Tom Hardy and Johnny Depp versus Keanu Reeves and Don Shadell. That would be a fun, fun little combo. I don't like three of those actors, so <laughs> oh, I'm not totally behind it. But yeah, Reeves would bad guy Reeves too, and Don Shadell's bad guy. Bzack eight twenty four two as Tom Holland and Michael J. Fox versus Michael B. Jordan and Heath. Ledger. I like that one a lot, just because it's wild. Yeah, I wonder what... The fact that it's like... Well, I guess we said in their prime, so... 
The one has to be the question. Everyone knows that Heath Ledger's prime was a knight's tale. <laughs> well, I was going to say, the question has to be asked, does Michael B. Jordan even have a prime? Yeah, it's currently. Well, he just signed a first look deal with Warner yeah, Brothers last year. No. That's huge. Went to the wrong guy. <laughs> Caesar is the Ordea said Chris Hemsworth and... Kevin Hart versus Willem Dafoe and Jack Nicholson. I like Dafoe and Nicholson together. Yeah, I do like that uh, combo. Same rule as always. I'm going to just set it out. Hart can die. Kevin Hart. That's all the movies. I don't care if he's a good guy. We can lose him. Charlie Wan said... Uh, oh, that's Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan versus Jason Jatham and Maggie... Uh, Chong? Chong? I don't know who Chan? that is. Chan? Let me look it up. I feel like I know the name. Maybe she's the girl from Iron Fist? No, that's not her name. I've never seen. Any I've never either. seen any of these movies, so I don't know. I imagine you're going for a kung fu karate vibe, and then Statham's yeah. there to. Jason Statham's. He can do it. Yeah, he, he can do, do it. it. So it'd be interesting if I. I was guess he's it. all pissy about his last few movies not being R-rated, and he he like left a studio because of it. Really? Who did the mag? Maybe it was Warner Brothers. Chip Douglas and Tom Cruise and Robert Downey Jr. versus Jason Bateman and Imelda Staunton. Who? That's another person I don't know. Jason Bateman is a villain. That's fun. I just watched him as a villain. Um, Who is that? Imelda Staunton? No, Jason. Oh, Jason, Jason Bateman. Bateman. Yeah. I just, he's the villain in Central Intelligence. Oh, he's also yeah. the villain in Paul <clears throat> and in uh, Starsky and Hutch. He's not really the villain in Paul. Oh, okay. okay, I know her. So they would actually probably be good together. Yeah, uh, that Ooh, one. That, your next person. That one's fun, but uh, Tom Cruise and Robert Downey Jr., that budget. Oh, that'd and be crazy. And the good guy fight yeah. they would have. Ooh. Uh, Chris Ballin, my boy, said Jackie Chan and Liam Neeson against Paul Rubens <laughs> and Rowan Atkinson. He did clarify so they're not really they're scary, not scary villains. They're kind of kooky. Goofy, they're goofy <laughs> villains running around ruining stuff, I guess. So oh, that'd, that'd be, be pretty, so funny. That'd be really funny. <sighs> Paul Rubens, <clears throat> if they ever make a movie about him, Alan Cumming should play him. They should make it right now, though. Jim Parsons could do it. <laughs> Colin Patrick said Tom Holland and Chris Pine versus Gary Oldman and Jack Nicholson. That'd which be... I'll say Gary Oldman, Jack Nicholson, Jack Hemsworth, Chan. Harrison Ford. Yeah. They all pop up a lot. We haven't even this. said a Harrison Ford one yet. Uh, that's actually a really good combo. I like Holland and Chris Pine because you can see kind of a mentor. Yeah, because they movie. look like brothers. Yeah, but you, yeah. Well, you, just, you can see a mentorship. And then Oldman, such a good, he's such a good actor. Yeah, he's one of the greatest yeah. actors of this generation. Yeah. Cool Nilk has uh, Tom Hanks and Martin Freeman. Morgan? Oh. Can I have it be Martin? No, it's Morgan Freeman. I'd like it more if it was Martin. Forgot about Martin Freeman. Tom sorry. Hanks versus Morgan Freeman, or with Morgan Freeman, but could be Martin Freeman against Brad Pitt and Robert Downey Jr. Morton Freeman. Morton's other son. That's what Martin Freeman and Morgan Freeman named their son. <laughs> oh. Morton. Tom, you can't you can't argue that Tom Hanks and Martin Freeman in a movie together would be they bad, would though. continue. And I said the rest of it, okay. Brad Pitt and Downey Jr. Um, that's a big budget, too. Yeah. That's a huge budget. Crystal B said Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale, which they were in The Prestige together, oh. directed by Kristen Nolan, um, versus, I really like this one a lot, Sean Penn and Kevin Bacon. That's a really good one. Now, I, Kevin Bacon's probably been in a movie with at least I, one of those people, because... Uh, yeah, I haven't. I was actually going to look up to see if Kevin Bacon had popped up it yet, <laughs> so I'm glad he finally did. Cause Kevin like, Bacon's one of my favorite actors. He's really good, and him with Sean Penn would be... Yeah. Wait, Sean Penn. He's Spicoli. He's Milk. Okay. <laughs> I got confused yeah. with him and John Bean. Because yeah. Sean Bean could be really good with Kevin Bacon. Ooh, as you well. get the nice one. <gasps> get him I said Matt Damon and Billy Connolly? No, Jennifer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Matt Damon and Jennifer Connolly. That was one of my bad guys. Uh, versus Christoph Waltz and. Ed Scre Screen. Ed Screen. Who's He's, Ed Screen? He yeah. was the one cyborg in Alita with just. He had just the face. Oh, the, like the really bad. He was one of the bad cyborg yeah. ones on the racetrack. Okay. You remember that movie better than I do, yeah. probably, because you loved it, uh, apparently. Is it that memorable? Do you remember it? <laughs> I remember a lot tell of me, it. Tell me a scene. Uh, okay. Remember the part with the hammer? Where Chris, Christoph Waltz had that weird giant hammer that looked too big for him to handle, and he's like... Can I do and it had rocket powers on it for some reason? spoilers? No, no that was okay. enough. <laughs> Double aces... Um, said Jackie Chan and Eddie this. Murphy. It's Aces. He texted me oh, on did Instagram. He, did he? Double Aces said Jackie Chan and Eddie Murphy versus The Rock and Danny DeVito as twins in a yeah, government oh, yeah, experiment or something. Yeah, I read that one. That was hilarious. Yeah. Eddie uh, Murphy and Danny DeVito together would be really good as a big <laughs> button heads. <laughs> Next. Uh, Die Katana said Arnold Schwarzenegger and Tom Cruise. Versus, oh, Tom Cruise was picked a lot too. Yeah, versus, I assume, Kurt Russell yeah. and Brad Pitt. 
another Pokemon. I will, this just sounds fun. <laughs> just sounds fun. Tom Cruise is the oddball there, I yeah. feel like. Next, Dakota Buckner said The Rock and Chris Hemsworth versus Tom Hardy and Liam Neeson. That's a lot of people we saw a lot That's, of so Yeah, far. we've seen a lot of those ones. Next is Daniel N., who had Keanu Reeves and Donnie Yen. Yeah. Uh, versus Christopher Walken and Mel Gibson. I, I like that besides Mel Gibson. I like that except, yeah, I hate Mel Gibson. And I don't think Christopher Walken and Mel Gibson would do a good job together, even if Mel Gibson was a good actor. I think he's an okay actor. I just hate him personally. Person. I still don't think Christopher he's Walken, he's great. Keanu Reeves, that'd be fun. Um, Donnie Yen, I haven't seen a whole lot um, with him, yeah. but he's in Rogue One, and he's my favorite character in that, so he'd be cool. Dog Kid, uh, he didn't list two people, yeah. but he listed Paul Walker versus Edward Norton. Yeah. Paul Walker, take him or leave him. Yeah, we famously, Edward Norton, he's a good, we he's a good actor. We don't like Paul Walker. Edward Norton apparently takes over movie roles that he's yeah. in, though. Uh, next one is Dwight McCoy versus Harrison Ford, and with <laughs> Harrison, <laughs> Harrison Ford and The Rock versus James Franco and John Malkovich. I like that. Uh, that's, that's a, a pretty fun, funny one because you could see John Malkovich being the straight ed or the straight faced guy as James Franco goes up to his loony antics. Yeah. What is James Franco's prime? Is it like the Spider Man? It's not now, and it's not when he was on that weird soap opera when he. I think is it like it's just one twenty seven like, hours or something like. No, I think it's Spider Man three. Yeah, to when? To like twenty thirteen. Because now he's doing all this like weird art house experimental things. I feel like the and he does every role like sarcastically. Because ever it, since 2014, when he joined that soap opera, I think everything's just like an experiment. The though. interview I feel like was his last. That was his last hurrah before he went really weird. Yeah, so that I'm was like say Spider-Man three to the interview. So I think this is the end. Because the interview was filmed and then it was delayed a long yeah. time. I'm gonna say this is the end. The interview I think is an outlier. But anyway. Why him is just goofy and okay. Uh, Dylan Flickinger, he said Sean Connery and Frank Grillo versus yeah. um, Bradley, Cooper. Bradley Cooper and Angela Kinsey. I want to flip the good and bad guys. There's no way Angela Kinsey and Bradley Cooper are running around as bad guys. I know Bradley Cooper and is Sean Connery and Frank guy. Grillo. Yeah, those are bad guys. So I think he had them flipped. Uh, so I'm I'm flipping. You can't those. dictate his story. <laughs> oh, it's a weird story. Uh, Frank Castle. Said uh, Harrison Ford and Arnold Schwarzenegger versus Gary Oldman and Celeste as well. In their product, we're not saying. Movies. Listen, yeah, we're not saying anything about this. I would see this movie. I would pay to see this movie in theaters with these four actors. That's it. We're I moving just, on. I was just gonna say it'd be fun to see John Barenthal <laughs> on there. I don't know. Gabe Hanley, he said Bruce Willis and Eddie Murphy versus Michael Keenan and Mel Gibson. Take out Mel Gibson and I'll love your movie. Yeah, he, t he took my influence. <laughs> you know what? Pop Billy Connolly in there. Who was Billy Connolly? <laughs> George T. had uh, Gerard Butler and Joaquin Phoenix versus Russell Crowe and Ethan Hawke. Yeah. I, I like Ethan about that. I feel like a lot of people only like Joaquin. Russell Crowe's the greatest fucking actor on the fucking planet, <laughs> if you ask him. He'll fucking punch you, too. Joaquin... You disagree. Joaquin Phoenix uh, he pops up a lot in this, too. I yeah. think it's only because people like the so Joker. Franco. Franco does, too. Yeah, I think uh, it's only because people like Joker, and we famously think that's probably his worst performance. Listen, Good. if you like watching also, a sad man dance in his underwear, you're going to fucking love do that Do you movie. remember what we said would make Joker really good? I realized why we hate it so much. I only like the one scene. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally... The, it's like watching two hours of bullshit for one five minutes See, and it's I only like cool. the punch shot scene. <laughs> Um, you gotta admit, when he shoots him in the head, that's pretty yeah. good. They, we said that there. I love that we can spoil that yeah. movie because everyone was, fucking saw it because it made a billion dollars. So it's not good. <laughs> it's no good. Uh, but we said we, before we watched it, we yeah. said there's one thing that would make the movie really good, and I realized why we don't like it. Hmm. It's Todd Phillips. There was no Dan Band. We wanted Dan he also, Band. Did he have a cameo as his fucking his weird pervy guy? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Maybe, remember, we were like, Dan Van yeah. better be at this. He could have been the band he, for Robert they De Niro. They could have played at any point in that movie, and he could have just... No, it would have been on Robert De Niro's talk show. G, uh, G Show said Robert Denaro and Joe they Pesci versus Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. So they've been in a lot of they've stuff They've been in together. a lot of stuff together. De Niro. Most famously, Jason, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah. Uh, didn't was he... he in Reboot, Matt Damon? Yeah, he was. He yeah. played... He, he's fucking he's Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Denis, he's played Loki in so many yeah. universes. I know. Uh, De Niro and Pesci, I feel like it's it probably pronounced been... Denaro. It's not Denaro. Uh, it's two words. Uh, yeah, not much to say about that one, I think. Half the act is... Oh, this one's this, gold. I will let you take this. So, this is... I... This I want, is one I, where I, I think the villain and vil yeah. or the hero and villain yeah. should be switched, but yeah. you need to explain it. I'm reading it how he wrote it, so we yeah. have a good guy, bad guy. We're gonna go bad guys first. So, Half the act said the bad guys are... 
uh, Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris okay. against Bruce Lee's clone and Chuck Norris's br- younger brother. Mis- no, Chuck, Nor- Chuck Norris's missing brother. Missing brother from a war 40 years ago perceived to be dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what the hell? I'm seeing it. Take yeah. all my money. Have, What's have funny facts. is it's in their prime, so it's probably like yeah. it was 70s or 80s. When have did that. Bruce Lee die? I have no clue. Amazon. When did Bruce Lee die? He was like 27. Bruce wasn't Lee he? died on July 20th, 1973. From swelling of the brain 73. caused by a reaction to prescription medication. So this is a... Uh, he was 32 years old. 1973. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be an early 70s movie. <laughs> and back then, this would have been a movie yeah. that could have been made. Have facts. Let us know. I, I need to know. What's your plot line for this? Yeah, why why are they the bad guys, yet the clone and the missing brother are the good guys? <laughs> what What's going on here? You need to let us know. Herman D. still come. He said Samuel Jackson and The Rock versus Giant Depp and Vin Diesel. I like Vin Diesel as a bad guy. I don't think he's ever done it. If he has, I haven't seen the movie. So, yeah. That's I really, the next one. I really enjoyed uh, Mason's Bloodshot. Oh, you get both fucking good ones. Yes. <laughs> I was, I was going to make you. I was going to take this one even if it didn't land on me. Oh. Uh, this is probably our favorite. This is definitely, the, definitely. my favorite. Uh, this is Homer Thax's He Said Larry David and The Rock up against Ted Danson and Obama. <laughs> and he said that uh, he just thinks that they could all be, that Obama would be just kind of there to be he's, funny. He's like, Obama's a weird choice, but he's a good actor and yeah. he thinks he'd be funny as a bad guy. Yeah. Like that. So now I have thought about this probably the most yeah, out of any of them. Because about. one, Larry David and The Rock, hilarious tag team. Yeah. I want a scene where Larry David and either Ted Danson or Obama, yeah. specifically Obama, they have a fight scene, like hand to hand combat. And it shows like. No, it's Obama. Are you talking about the one I came up with or no? Well, yeah, but so, so I wanted. I, I imagine it is like, you know, it's like real quick cuts, yeah. like like hand, yeah. like blocking, yeah. like, you know, like yeah. a real yeah. fight scene. Yeah. But then, you know, it shows like what's really going on. Yeah. I and came it up just with like, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he I, came up with this part. It was just Obama. You know, I just wanted Obama and Larry David. No, <laughs> stop with the hand thing. It would just be like. Yeah. Just very, like, <laughs> just each taking a shot. Just yeah. each, just back, each one, back yeah. and forth. Yeah. But I, I wanted to start with, like, that. Yeah. Cause, and then, yeah. So but just, Ob- and I, I would love if Obama was a oh, yeah, terrorist. Want, like, nuclear terrorist. I want him to be a terrorist who's trying to take over the White House. Because how funny would that be? Jack is back. So Leonardo DiCaprio and Christian Bale versus Ben Affleck and Walkie and Phoenix. That's two Batmans. Yeah. There's one movie that's literally all Batmans. We'll get to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> James Bolanger said Keanu Reeves and Shia LaBeouf versus Idris Elba and Tom Hardy. I love those guys as villains because then they both get to die and I don't like them. And also, then, I really like Shia LaBeouf as a hero. I said as mine. Don't steal my line. <laughs> Joe Bear, he had Keanu Reeves and Matt Damon versus Jason Statham and Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is a bad guy. Yeah. Would never do it. <laughs> never have it. He's kind of a bad guy in The Mummy. Because he kisses a lady to death, but that's also just the most Tom Cruise <laughs> act committed to Someone film. commented, I didn't see who it was, but I think it happened today, and I don't know if you know uh, from just reading these, but someone did talk about Tom Cruise's height. When yeah, they put, yeah, they put yeah. Him in. I think they put him in his mo- in their movie, and then they're like, he's short. Sure. Joe Sonny with, uh, I assume it's Morgan, yeah, but I still... I, they're all Morgan, <sighs> if it says that. Morgan Freeman and Denzel Washington versus uh, Harrison Ford and Leonardo DiCaprio. Three old dudes and Leonardo. Yeah. I love it. Dad bod. <laughs> DiCaprio. June Fitzpatrick said J- Jen- Jens- Jensen hey. Ackles. Is that Jensen Ackles. That? Okay. And uh, Kate Beckinsale. Kate versus Mila Jojovovich. Yeah. Don't know how to say her name. Yeah. And Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes fucked up way more than I thought he would in this. Yeah. yeah. This one's pretty good. I haven't good. seen many movies with him. I haven't seen many I've movies with any five of I can think of off the top of my head. I haven't seen a movie with any of these people. Blade 1, 2, and 3, uh, Demolition Man, and um, Dolomite is my name. Oh. Who's the five I can think of off the top of my um, head? June Fitzpatrick, Happy St. Paddy's Day. Kimi Nuwajin said Brad Pitt and Shia LaBeouf against Jamie Foxx and Colin, Colin. Farrell. Yeah. Uh, that one's okay. Shia LaBeouf again is the good guy. I like it. Yeah. Lee Thomas said James McAvoy and... Um, Ewan. Ewan McGregor. I was almost going to say Connor, and I was like, that's not right. Who is this? So let me start over. James McAvoy and Ewan McGregor versus Robert Denaro and Tom Cruise. Again, Tom Cruise is a bad guy. Never happened. Also, I like the good guy team of the Max. Les Grossman said James Franco and The Rock versus Denzel Washington and Anthony Hopkins. I would love that. Didn't put Tom Cruise Anthony Hopkins is great in everything except Transformers 5. He's in that. Yeah. Can you believe it? The Transformers yeah, movies that. get such high caliber actors just to meander around in terrible films. I don't get it. Is Bruce Willis in one yet? 
No, he's not a good actor, though. He's not high caliber like an Anthony Hopkins or a John Turturro or who's in the fucking fourth one? Um, John Malkovich is in the third. Like, he's an insanely talented actor. He's, he's slogging around in that thing, watching it's Bumblebee like, pee on the ground or something like that. It's stupid. This is like uh, being John Malkovich. Uh, yeah. You know what that is? Do you remember the part in two when John Turturro's climbing the pyramid and he's like, I'm under its scrotum. I am directly below. Lexi Bo said uh, Gal Gadot and <laughs> Kate McKinnon, who I'm a huge fan of, versus Rebel Wilson and Lady Gaga Wait or in. Lady Jaja. Wait in for Gadot. Hello. Uh, I didn't like this one. Really. I really liked this. Like this. This is wild any to me. Any of these actors. Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, and uh, Kate McKinnon. She's a Ghostbuster. Love those two choices. And then Rebel Wilson. Who's just goofy in most things. So her is the villain with Lady Jaja, who I've never seen act in anything but the... You didn't uh, see A Star is Born. No, right? the only thing I've ever seen her act in is the Telephone? Is that her song? Music video? Yeah. Where she does with Beyonce? Yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> so, yeah. Sure, uh, put her in, why not? Yeah. Cameo by Kesha. Star is Mandate born. by me. Story is born. <laughs> Star is Born is awful. Lola Star said Will Smith. I assume they're all Wills. Yeah. Will Smith and Tom Cruise against The Rock and John Cena. I love this. That uh, would be a pretty funny yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's a huge budget. Yeah, as long as Will Smith and Tom Cruise, I feel like they would butt heads. Because Will Smith, I seem like if he's in a movie with a good guy. Because remember Vin Diesel, or the person attached to the Fast Furious, said that Vin Diesel and The Rock are both alpha males. Yeah. And you get them both in a room, they collide or whatever. Yeah, but Will Smith, just when he's a good guy, he butts heads with everyone. Yeah. Maddie Marie said Emily Blunt and Halle Berry. I didn't know how to spell Halle Berry. Is it with an E? I don't know. Yeah. Halle Berry versus Sandra Bullock and Rosamund Pike. I like that. An all female cast. Who's Rosamund Pike? Um, look her up. You'll know if you this, see her. This is the all female cast that I do enjoy. Rosamund Pike. She's an actress that I, I, I know her when I see her, but I can't ever tell I you always... a name or something she's in. Her names. Can I read you her children's names? Tell me how much you like this on a okay. scale of 1 to 10. Solo, okay, and Atom, not Adam, Atom. Ten. You think for both? <laughs> Ten for both. Because he's like Adam Willard. Matthew Guire said Ryan Gosling and Jennifer Mar not Martin. <sighs> Jennifer Lawrence versus Eddie Redmayne and Naomi Scott. I like that Naomi Scott was in it. I, don't I know like Eddie what... Redmayne. I won't go see this. Though. I won't. Yeah, I don't no, like it. Don't Jennifer like Lawrence. Lawrence so. Michael Reyes said uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Will Smith versus Reese Witherspoon and John Hamm. I liked this one. I do it's too. Simple. I love I like John it. Hamm. Yeah. And I really like him as a villain. He's the bad guy in Baby Driver. And Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That's right. He is. My favorite episode of that. <laughs> Michelo 247 is Christian Bale and Michael Keaton, Batman, versus Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger, Joker. Joker. So it's Batman versus Joker. What's which, funny, it's, it's the... Is your movie going to be two... It could be two Batmans versus two Jokers? Though I think it's crazy you didn't pick Nicholson, but maybe it's just because it's the Joker. Because it's the two best Batmans. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's the two best Batmans versus the best Joker we will ever see, and then a guy that can laugh and dance. I like Val Kilmer as Batman you know, more like than Bruce? Michael Keaton as Batman, but I like Mike. I don't like Michael Keaton mm -hmm. as Bruce Wayne. No, at no. All. Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne. Is but I think George Clooney is a better Bruce Wayne than Val Kilmer as Bruce Wayne. If that makes sense. Yeah. If you if you ask me. Hey, what do you remember about Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne? He wears Wayne? a turtleneck. The no. <laughs> he's, if you ask he's me, an what, Afro if you ask me what I remember about him as Bruce Wayne, is just the scene when like that reporter. It's in the first one, or the yeah. reporter, and then that other guy that's at his party, or like in that weird room with like the the uh, the night armor or whatever. Yeah. And then he just like walks in with his hands in his pocket. He goes, "What are you guys doing in here? Do you get lost in my huge mansion? Let's go back to the party." And like they just walk off again. <laughs> Yeah. Mo Kimochi said Johnny Depp and Tom Hanks versus Kevin Hart and Al Pacino. That's, cr that's, that's a, a weird one. Guess. That is a weird one. A lot of Kevin Hart for some reason. Yeah. Mr. G said Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire versus... This is the second Spider-Man cast. Yeah, Tom Hardy and Ryan Reynolds. That'd be interesting. I would Venom. love... I genuinely, genuinely want to see Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland together in a film. Yeah. And they're versus Venom and Venom. Deadpool. Venom, -o, Venom. Venom. <laughs> That's the cold weapon, too. Uh, Naomi O, right? Yeah. No, I just. Naomi O said <laughs> Daniel Craig and Bruce Willis versus Julian McMahon and Ryan Quetan. Quetan? 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 Quet
Aquatai? You don't, I know who he is, you don't. <laughs> Do I know this guy? I thought it was the guy from uh, I'm Number Four. Griff the Invisible, who's he in Griff? I don't know, but he's in fucking The Hurricane Eyes. True Blood, that's what he's from. He's okay. Griff. Is he? Yeah, okay, okay. it's Griff. <laughs> I like him. Uh, so I very much like that cast then. I like Julian McMahon. I've only seen him in two thins, but I, I think he's a good actor. <laughs> Easy. All right. New challenger. Is that uh, Rebel? No, it's that is. Wilson. <sighs> is it Rita Wilson? <laughs> it's Tom Hanks. It's... Who is it? It's uh. Wilson. Uh. We're gonna find out who it is. And we're gonna be idiots. <laughs> Who's Wilson? Is it Tom Hanks's volleyball? All right. <laughs> Who's supposed to read this one? Mm, me. You? Can I take over? No, it is you, because I said Naomi O. New challenger had Owen Wilson <laughs> and Tom Hiddleston against Terrence Howard and Jack Black. I very much like that one. Owen Wilson, Wilson and Jack Black. <laughs> That's what we could figure What's out. funny about that is oh, wow. Owen, Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston are going to be the good guy, bad guy against each other in Loki. And yeah. also, Owen Wilson and uh, Jack Black famously worked together in The Big Year. Wow. P. Morelli. P. P. Morelli. He said Tom Hanks and Sean Connery versus Mel Gibson and Joaquin Phoenix. A lot of people go with Mel Gibson. I don't like it. At least they're making him the villain because he's an asshole. Yeah. Peter Fligginger uh, said... Oh, never mind. Read it wrong. Said Bradley, I love this one. Bradley Cooper and Nick Cage versus The Rock and James Franco. That was pretty good. Yeah. I thought it said Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. I would I love it. it. Yeah. What was the last time The Rock played a villain? Is it Doom? I mean, it's... Pff, there's got to be something that says Doom. One of the, isn't he the villain in Fast and Furious, technically, in, like, the first ones he was in? He was a cop. Technically, he's a good guy. The Fast crew are technically criminals. He's not a good guy in game plan. He's still the good guy of the movie. <laughs> Ray Tsai said Selma Hayek and John Krasinski versus Pete Davidson and Robert Pattinson. I love this cast. Okay. Don't know what kind of movie it'd be, but I love it. Uh, Rex J93 said Harrison Ford and Keanu Reeves versus Schwarzenegger and Brad Pitt. Is that one taking your money too? Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's similar to one we had earlier, but yeah. Richard Santmeyer no said Chris Pine and Emily Blunt versus Chris Evans and Scar And this, I remember, is a musical mystery movie. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I like it. Roger F said Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Gosling versus uh, Ben Mendelsohn and James Franco. They would. That was, that's a really good one, actually. The because cast. Ben Mendelsohn's amazing? No, but them, him and Franco together... Uh, what's that movie where he has the kid? Who, Ben Mendo? Yeah. It's the one where he smokes pot with the 12-year-old or whatever. <laughs> that's a 12-year-old. It's a 17-year-old. Oh. <laughs> that's uh, The Land of Steady Habits. That's, I remember that scene of what you showed me. <laughs> All you showed me from that movie, that would yeah. work best with James Franco. It's a very good scene. <laughs> it's a very good movie. It's you. I really liked that. It's you with Steve. Steve said Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman notoriously hate each other yeah. in real life yep. versus uh, Antonio Banderas Antonio Banderas and Jack Nicholson. I love it. I, I love too. this I one. Like that. The Dark Knight Jimmy said Ben Affleck and Chris Evans versus Willem Dafoe and not Oscar Isaacs. It's you said Jason Isaac. A Isaacs? Did Jason you mean Isaacs. Oscar Isaacs? Because we don't know who Jason Isaacs is. No, we is. looked him up. You knew who he was. He was Is he a person? Mission Impossible or something. Look you, him up. I showed him you and you were like, okay, I got it. Harry Potter, he's Malfoy. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, I remember him. I bet he means Malfoy. Unbelievable montages had Ryan Gosling and John David Washington versus Hugh Grant and Jeremy Irons. Hugh I really Grant, like that. Whose prime is nine months. And About a boy's better. Jeremy Irons. With Jeremy Irons. I know Jeremy Irons. I'm trying to think of what he's, he's in. He's Alfred in Justice League. It's also the voice of Scar. Okay, that's how I know it. Was the new one Scar or old Scar? The old Scar. I, I like the good guys though. Wes Bailey said, Who? "Oh yes, I love this one." Car Weathers and Chris Hemsworth versus Alan Rickman and Wesley Snipes. I think this was Alan, the first. Alan Rickman. I think this was the first Alan, one. Alan Rickman. I think this was the first. How could you, Mister Cowboy? This was. I think this was the first Wesley Snipes Alan one. No, this was the first Alan Snipes one. Wesley Snipes one, and it was like, Car Weathers is there. Yeah, it's, it's a great. really good movie. <laughs> There's forty minutes tape already that you get to edit. I yeah, told you it could be its own video. First up is for Man of Steel. Ooh. We didn't have a lot of people enter for yes. this. I'll try this one. Okay. Oh, oh. do you want to say the rules? Oh, yeah, you can see it. You have a week to pick up your code. You have to, uh, if you win, you can't, uh, you're not entered for any others. You can only win once. And then if you do win, 
you just have to message me on Instagram, Patrice, you'll want, or email us at would you spend a day with Tim Allen at gmail.com to pick up your code. So, first is for Man of Steel, the 4K. First up is. Don't, I already said that. Four. I'll just start changing. Start. You didn't wait for the bit. And the winner of Man of Steel is Double Aces. I still think it should be Forces. You won Man of Steel. Um, we don't have the codes out. No, we forgot. Oh, Jesus. Next up was four Atlas Shrugged Part Three, which is apparently terrible. For Alex Shrugged, <laughs> you do the shaking now. I do. Thirty seconds starts now. <laughs> Do, 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 do. No. Oh, yep. And the winner, I forgot it's an alphabetical order. The winner is Richard. Oh my god, Sandmire. it's an alphabetical order. That's funny. Alright, we're back. God, it's so bright in here now. Who won that? Next up. Oh, oh it's for Jingle All the Way 2. I believe you're drawing this one, actually. Yeah, I am. So I share. Next up is Jingle all the way to. You need your phone. I need my phone. <laughs> it's behind the computer. Wow, why can I always find things when you oh, can't? Oh, you shush up. You want to go? Ready to shake? Sure. Start. <laughs> So, uh, episode one of our fantasy booking the DC Cinematic Universe came out on Monday. If you haven't watched that, you should maybe go check it out. Let us know what you think of it. Pick whose year was better. Yeah, that's the thing we're doing. What was my year one? Your year one was Batman, Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, and Green King, Arrow, and Canary. Canary. Yeah, yeah. And my year one was Green Arrow, year one, Batman, Gotham Knights, and Static Shock. And the winner of Jingle All the Way 2, I feel so bad for you, it's Colin Patrick. Well, well, we will. You win a lot, I think. Maybe, Maybe. we just say your name a lot. In other news, we got this. This uh, this bad boy right here. Yeah, what is it? This is the... Oops. Oh. You're in the way. I'm not in the way. Just talk. You're literally in the... This is the Punk Rock Blues Wrestling 24-7 Championship. <laughs> this belt is under 24-7 rules, which means it can change hands anytime any place. So that's a thing we'll probably randomly do in videos sometimes. I'm the current champion. I've held it four times so far. Next up is four. Central Intelligence. Which is one of my favorite The Rock movies. Oh, he's actually good. This is the one where he's, I liked a, he's a fat kid at the start, right? Was that <laughs> fat actually, Robbie. Was that actually oh, funny? It was so funny. I loved it. You're shaking this one. I'm shaking this one. So 30 seconds. Earth meow. <laughs> And for Central <coughs> Intelligence, Alan Channing. What, what? What, what in the butt? I said, what, what in the butt? What, what in the butt? I said, what, what? Woman. You are a woman. said, whoa, woman. man. Okay. Do we have that? I mean, I know we own it, but oh, I yes. think I let... Yeah, I was going to say, I let, uh, what's his face borrow that? What are we looking at? So I Married an Axe Murderer. Oh. I let, I almost said So I Murdered an Axe Murderer, and I was like, that would be silly. People wouldn't really care. They'd be like, oh, good job. Um, Nathan was like, have you ever seen this movie? And I was like, dude, I just watched it two nights ago. He's like, yeah, I have a coworker who's like going on about it and saying how it's like his best movie role besides like Wayne's World. I was like, dude, it's amazing. I was like, just here, take it. 
Uh, do I want to read this to you, or do you want to continue? Thank you. <laughs> no, it's in the Aiden. Oh. <laughs> it's Frozen too. Go check out that video on my Instagram if you haven't seen it. Oh, that's really funny. From a few days ago. Yeah. Okay, you get to shake, I get to pull the timer back up. Ooh, ooh, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Hope I didn't tear my quad in after relinquish the title. Started now. <laughs> Can you put a video we reference in the 30 seconds right here? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Just like a clip of it? No? Oh, yeah, right here? That's what I mean. Yeah, sure. They, that, that's what you meant in the 30 seconds. No, not the... No, no, no not the 30 seconds to replace. No, I just mean right yeah. now. Just right clip. here. I told her not to go out tonight. I knew it was going to be dangerous. You see, this morning I read her... Horoscope! Okay. Oh, what a funny clip from that video. <laughs> I love that part. Probably. And the winner of Frozen 2... Uh, weather related. Ooh. It's Joe Sunny. Oh, nice. Yeah, congrats. Uh, I love what happens to snow when it gets sunny. Yeah? Is that a line from the movie or something? No, that's the first one. Oh. Next up, Philly Creek has my baby! Hey! CBS baby! See, you don't get to I see don't know that. This is a. Uh, Gilbaisan. I haven't seen this movie yet. Trevor Dimitri is Gil reading for the role, or represented by Pikmin Associates, reading for the role of CBS. This is. CBS, baby! Trevor Dimitri, Gil Baisan, formerly okay. represented by Pikmin Associates, reading for the role of CBS. CBS? Alright. <coughs> okay, what's next? Oh, you have to. Great kids. You gotta, I gotta shake. Okay. 30 seconds. I wonder how this one ends. Starts me out. I didn't until you told me, and I was like, whoa, spoiler. How do you not have to read it in school? I didn't have to read The Great Gatsby either. I didn't have to read The Great Gatsby. It was a choice book. I didn't choose it. It was right, a different well, book. Let's continue. Okay. Who's read of Mice and Men? I don't care about the movie. I do want to see it. But who's read of Mice and Men? Amazing book. I will only ever see the movie. With uh, Gracie Nice. Sure. And Great, the winner Gracie of The nice. Great Gatsby, Herman Distelkamp, oh. which I know you win a lot. What's, uh, is it Greg Sinise? Gary Sinise? Gary Sinise, right? Yeah, What's the damn name? band? Yeah. Sure. Gary Sinise. Yeah. Like, why does his name sound weird? Next up is Knives out. Because it came out. Yeah. yeah. I really like this movie. We saw it in theaters. Yeah. We, we really saw like a premiere it. of this. We, we did. saw it early access. Then when it was coming out, it was one of those It's high. between two good movies. Yeah. When it was coming out, people kept asking me, oh, have you, have you heard about this? I was like, I saw it weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, you get to shake. Yeah. Good movie, Knives Out. You're going to a good person, hopefully. Uh, dude, that's some Blake from Wausau. I'm up in Wausau. I'm up in Wausau right now. What's up from Wausau? What's up from Wausau? <sighs> Wausau, like W-A-S. Wausau. Wausau. Yeah, he goes, Wausau. Wausau. Still the same. And the winner of Knives Out is the man manly, Gabe Hanley. Next up, another one you bought, and bought well, it. you didn't pay for it, but you told me to buy it. I made it by Hell on the Border. Frank I Rio. haven't watched this yet. Frank Rio. Ron Perlman. Other guy. He was in two movies. Yeah. Ron Perlman? Yeah. Ron Perlman was in all the movies. Yeah, Why we was in two you... next to each other at that time. That oh. Tuesday Blues Day. I thought we were talking about the movies at the start of the video, like no, the no, fan no. cast. No, no, no. Why well, didn't no one pick Ron Perlman? I don't care. Uh, 30 seconds. I shake. Yeah. Starts. Now. Yeah. 
asked me that three times. I've not asked you three times if you put jazz over the 30 seconds. Yes, you have. <coughs> I've been drinking too much Corona and now I've been coughing. And the winner First of Hell on the Border, board, border Crystal B. Boom, boom, boom. The B stands for border. Next up is The Resurrection of Gavin Stone. I liked this. It was fun. I, I like that a I lot like of people Ross. entered for it. Yeah. Because I think people entered for it because I said I was like, this is a good one. Like Unless Ross. people are just fans of The Heartbreak Kid. Which Mike at work has been recently doing to me. He goes like this and he goes, uh, and then he goes, Heartbreak Kid. You know? And I go, yeah, Shawn Michaels. And he goes, no, just Heartbreak Kid. Uh, what is this? Oh, I gotta draw. <gasps> it's the resurrection of Kevin Stone. Yeah, I get to draw. I get to draw. Start. Remember when we used to do that? Sure. And I the don't winner remember. of the resurrection of Gavin Stone is Naomi O. Naomi O. The resurrection of Gavin Stone. <laughs> Naomi O. I like that you're getting into that band. I literally just the one song because we watched some like songs that made when you were emo you listened to on repeat as a teen or whatever and one of their songs was on and I went well this is a, sounds pretty good but what's that one I really like and as I searched choose what we aim for risque was like the fourth option I was like I knew it had a weird title so I'm gonna guess it's that Other one songs that were my favorite is a Newport living yeah but that's like more normal because risque is a weird <laughs> word everyone's a letdown it just depends on how far down they will go that's the one that was in the in every circle of friends <clears throat> there's a whore the one who flirts and does a little bit more that's the one that was in the who's to so say this is a social scene anyway that was the one that everyone was everyone wants to explore the new girl who's caught up in her own little world but liquor doesn't exist my world liquor doesn't exist right there, you know? in my world and if you one. lie, you don't deserve to have friends. If you lie, you don't was... deserve to have friends. If you lie, you were a seller, but you couldn't even do that right. Now your brass stack has been slashed, and you're chilling on a half price clearance rack. That's the one that was in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. Next up is The Town, directed by Ben Affleck. I was thinking about doing that too, where I was like, hey, what are the most must listen to bands? <laughs> what I might just do, give me your favorite band. Uh, Start. I don't the first one. What are you older than? Maybe I'll catch fire by Oak Island Trio. Nope, nope, you just started one over it. Dismiss, now cancel. Well, God, we never what got, was that shot? <laughs> never heard what was that? that? Alright, for the town. The town. The town. town. Go park the guy. Go sell park. I got small park. This guy got small park? In the winner of the town. I see it right now. The town, more like the town Lee Thomas. That's what I was going to go with, yeah. <laughs> this is not a good one with that. Not. The next one would have been great. Oh yeah. The 33 is next. It's got uh We didn't talk oh, about this in the lobby. collection update. Did because, it hasn't come yet? Because no, it's just a secret. Oh. But why wait, so it's allowed to be talked about in the giveaway when the I update. said we didn't have it. I was like we this oh, isn't something we're, I was like we just have the code. Okay. You didn't see that folks. But we have it. Yeah. Uh thirty seconds on the clock starts Neo. Mm -hmm. Drive it in the back lane. Now wait for it, because I want to see if we can hear that noise again. Is it seven? Oh, it's just, just that. Oh, there oh. it is. So it loose at ten. Weird. I know I draw, right? Oh, yeah. Why did I shake? I don't know. That's why I didn't shake. I wasn't even supposed to. <laughs> 
the devil in the The winner room. of the 33, more like 33 Thomas, is <laughs> Cool Nail. Wow. Congratulations, you won the 33. I'm sure there's a lot of people enter for this for not having it. There's a lot of people that were like, enter me for everything. Yeah, I think so. But no, some people singled it out. Oh, okay. Like Burnsy. Oh. Yeah. Next up is Titans Season 2. Don't have it because it's in the DC section. That's one I, another one I forgot to grab. That's okay. Titans Season 2. Um, 30 seconds starts now. <laughs> Oh, cause it's, no, it's a new, it's a new one every time. Oh, okay. It's a new, new take. <laughs> and you're like, can you, can you try it? Maybe, maybe could you try it? You know, like, uh, maybe jazzy. It's a we'll throw song. a little jazz in there. Well, okay. It's oh, I got already. it. I don't remember the line. Hey baby, don't you want? Hey baby, don't you want my ground on that neck? <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. Um, how about we try one like, you know, uh, like baroque period type music? Okay. Yeah, I got. This. <laughs> what music am I making? <laughs> Hey, baby, don't you wanna grind on this thing? You know what that's like? You know that SNL sketch of uh, Sean Combs where he's like, I got my buddy here. And it's Andy Samberg is like the R&B guy. He's like, he's the best rapper I've ever heard. Let's go. Ding dong, we're friends again. We're going to the party. We're gonna drink some stuff. Hey, yo, I'm Blizzard, man. I do like that. What's, wait, what's going on here? You have to draw for oh, Titan yeah. season two. Lots of girls and party drinks and stuff. The winner. Nope. Oh, it's under T. And the winner of oh. Titan season two. Hey, the Jesus. Um. Wow! Look at that! I saved it. That's Just insane. like you saved the day. I saved the day. What? The Dark Knight, Jimmy. What? That was insane. If you guys could see what really, just happened. Yeah, we had a cam. Looking straight down. If only we could afford Google Glass. Or just GoPros. You're a GoPro. Thanks. Because you're a pro, and I'm going to make you go. Uh, to where? To what? Anywhere but here. You better go. <laughs> <laughs> I love those characters now. Hey, boy. I was going to do an accent and forgot. It's Jojo Rabbit. Hey, I'm like, boy. Jojo the circus pet. The circus. Here, the little, jo Jojo the circus clown with a pretty new circus, pet. The little circus boy with a pretty no, new pet. It's Jojo the circus clown with a pretty clown, new pet. It's circus boy. He's a circus boy? Yeah, he wasn't a clown. He's a real person. George a little circus boy. He's in The Greatest Showman. Pretty new pet. Well, then I get all excited. I'm like, Jojo, the idiot circus boy with a pretty new pet. I pet it. Just throw it was I go, naughty, 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 naughty. Uh, You get to shake this one. Let's not mess it up this time. <laughs> okay. Jojo! He was a Nazi. 30 seconds on the clock. No. <laughs> King Cowboy. King Cowboy. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and the winner of Jojo Rabbit is Avnish Tripathi. Wow. wow. Nice going. I think you won last time, maybe. I don't remember because we filmed them we with a little bit of a gap now. Yeah. We don't do them as frequently. Yeah. Which maybe we should go back to doing it now frequently. That we have any rule. Because, well, we just. There's so many movies. It builds up so quick now to where it's yeah. like, do we want to do an hour update every time? Why? For other videos. So we oh, could do yeah, more content, we but then we more. came up with a series where we were like we had to film a bunch of them, so we just haven't been able to release well, them. Well, this can come out weekly if you will sit down and write it. It's so hard to hold this for such a long time. You are the champ. Let go. You are the champ. Also, it just feels annoying to hold it like this. Yeah, it's a lot better with the, the thing I'm done. Cause then you get to do one of these cool Miz things. Yeah. Remember, you know how the Miz, every time he has a belt, like currently, he always does the, he does one of these. Yeah. You get to do that, but these, these rattle a little bit. That's why I didn't do it. But I like this. prefer this John Cena carrying them around his neck. Oh. Double straps. What about, uh, there's the Usos. The Usos. The Usos who just did like this, which Bray yeah. does now. There's, one well, of my favorite things was Jeff Hardy always does it like this, and people love it. Then when Reigns became champ, Reigns did it, and people flipped out. He has no respect yeah. for holding the title right way, and people are like, Jeff Hardy went and did it. Oh, me. 
Yeah. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Famously, I do this Could you work. be my neighbor? Like, could you move here and be my neighbor? You know neighbor? what's funny? One of my first Instagram posts was, uh, it was the for rent sign with the phone number on it to be our neighbor. I posted that on Instagram when, uh, before they moved in. Wow. So they could have been my neighbor, 2015. Oh, Kurz Lake, I know you're watching this far. Good to see you entered in this. Wink, wink. We talked about it on Instagram. Can't mention it. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, three seconds on the clock starts now. Wait, I shake. Not Starting now. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it would probably we would do it for why sound the, the other sure. show. We wouldn't do it for sure. this. Sure, I know. I'm just nothing. saying. I know. But, well, yeah. How funny that be. Well, my fan. Well, let me let me pick. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they could pin me on the table or whatever. And the winner of Ben Lord in this neighborhood of Ben Lord in the neighbor. Is he a neighbor? Could he be a neighbor? Who knows? He's Ben Lord. CDC recommended that. As Did the, they call it their averages? Yeah, to, as a greeting for since you can't, you're yeah. not supposed to shake hands and whatnot. There's a lot of bows and stuff too. Which, yesterday at work, Saturday, when I was switching shifts, Nick was the driver. Switching shoes what? Nick oh, was driver. Shit, yeah. I was coming in, yeah. And we did this, like a, okay. This lady that was in the store went. So you know what's funny? About and that? like, we, like I could clearly. She was like, "Oh, she didn't like that." You know what's funny about that? So Nick came in to, to deliver yesterday. Very morning. sick looking. He's very sick. So he comes in. Yeah, he, he, <coughs> he delivers my food. Yeah, says what's up. He always goes to the bathroom when he delivers on Saturdays. He goes to the yeah, bathroom. I, I asked him about that one time, and he goes, "Oh, dude, I poop everywhere because I've used every bathroom we deliver to. And that's crazy." So I hear he goes off to the bathroom, and all I hear the entire time he's gone, if he's not on my eyesight, you just hear, eh, and I hear refill his water bottle. He brings it. He walks in. Let me let me paint you a picture. Let me paint you a picture of what this guy. So Did she have a meat sandwich today? No. Okay. So this is the sandwich, or the bag of food. So Nick is carrying it with this hand, okay? okay. Then he's got an ear, one earbud in, but one dangling yes. down. He's got, but he doesn't even have, no, he didn't have earbuds. It's he like has the Joe his, Rogan bucket. Yeah, no, he was watching sports. Oh, okay. And he had it on full blast. Okay. So he comes in, he's carrying my drink in my bag in one hand, he's got his water bottle tucked in here, and he's got this phone on full blast. So he walks up and goes, hey man, how you guys doing? Slow for you guys? We're still for us. I was like, yeah, we're dead. He's like, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, thanks. And he always points the hand off to the bathroom. He hands it all the way through for about three, about a full minute here. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Imagine a water bottle being filled. Yeah. Uh, I was like, is that Nick? Like, you know, I'm worried to eat now. Is it Nick or is it someone it's else? It's him, yeah. And then he walks by. See you later, dude. Have a good day. Like, he'll really yeah, call He's me really me. sick. He keeps he's coming to work. Why? That was all. This was a long, rambly video. I know this is going to be very long. Yeah. Um, kudos if you watched this far. Yeah. If you watched this far, uh, Shalom. I was going to go Shalom, but I wanted to do a movie reference, so I wanted the Rugula. Real, real. God in heaven, make a stop. You want my soul? <laughs> James Bolanger, did you watch Big Trouble yet? It's on YouTube. Don't. Yeah, let us know if you watch it. Ignore that. Message us when you yeah, watch it. Yeah, the second you want, I want a message from you on Instagram, yeah. it's straight to JTS Turk. Hit me right away and ignore that last joke. This is the outro. It's the part where we do the outro. I've been like, no, like this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit that notification bell so you get us all the time. And stay tuned. Um, it's free and you can always... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. This comes out Wednesdays. Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow is episode two of Fantasy Book. I thought the they were DC Monday Universe. and Fridays. No, I did Monday, Thursday because it's a bigger, it's the same days between them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And then also, oh. uh, that thing. Oh. What the secret that? project. Yeah. That's going to be Fridays. Okay. And then our TV thing, that's being Thursday or Saturdays right now. Saturday and Sunday. Because yeah. we got two weeks left in March. Yeah. So. Well, it's more. Oh, yeah, it's and then the last episode will be in April, I guess. But <sighs> If you can imagine where that hit. Yeah. Oh. I'm Bat Tracy. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Stardust at Bat Tracy01. I've been Lex Style. You can follow me on Instagram at Strange Jerk and on Twitter at Edal. Also, check out my Stardust at Lex Style. I stopped saying it for a while. 
but if you saw in the last video, leave me any movie you believe is the most must-see movie before He's got a I whole die. list now. I have 30 and then He's got to watch more. four Barbershop movies. I have to watch all the Barbershops. Uh, the only rules are no rape, no Highlander sequels. Let me know, and every time I watch one, I will be on Stardust. That's what I'm using my Stardust for, is anyone that recommends me a movie, it'll just be on Stardust. I'm not going to watch stuff randomly and put it on Stardust, because I'm bad at that. Recommend me movies if you haven't already. Burnsy, specifically, you said if I wanted more, to let me have them, so let me have them. Give him a thousand films. Don't do that. I don't got time for that. <laughs> a lot of these I don't want to see. Uh, I did cut one movie, Human Centipede. Which I don't know if it has rape in it, but I've seen it that. technically is. I can tell you the whole plot of that. Yeah. I've seen it three times. I, none of them by choice. Yeah. You can follow the channel as a collective on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Punk Rock Blues. And you can pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com slash punkrockblues. Yeah, where we're throwing stuff up early A lot of this stuff we've been talking about. Yeah, a lot of our secret projects some we're of putting these, up on early. Some of these title changes. Um, could... You can be in the credits of our videos. Yeah, and maybe we'll start throwing polls out there. Yeah, like questions and stuff. Our grandma. Oh, speaking of questions, we started saying that we were gonna do a Q and A, and then we completely wiped off. Oh, that. completely. One forgot. person. Commented. I think Dark Knight Jimmy. Dark Knight Jimmy. If you remember those questions, it was I think comic related. Yeah. Uh, we should. I don't remember what that video was. So I, it was maybe two collection was, updates uh, ago. I don't know. Maybe we'll film a different thing about Q and As. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so hit us up with Q and A questions. We'll get to that. I mean, like I said, Patreon. Maybe we can put some of these title changes on there. Yeah. That could be a fun thing. That's it. Or if you want, you can email us Q and A questions. Yeah, to, uh, would email, you spend David uh, direct message us. Yeah, yeah. Would you spend David Timon on Gmail dot com? Did we mention where to send you to? Yes, okay. I mentioned that at the start. Okay. Okay. Is the SD card full? Bye. Bye.